A. Piss take. Production. It's fucking pretty close. I might just pull in. It's a little dirt road, gravel road. I'll have some fun. Well, it looks like it's been tarred. It's no longer gravel, no! <laughs> ah, no more wheel spins. And they've made a car park and everything. Season in the gear lever's working. I'm not going to muck around with it. I'm going to stick with it. It's getting his eye oh, into neutral. Okay. So I've just got the bike in I've just got the bike in neutral. I'll do a standing start from first up to third, fourth, 
and show how smooth it is. Usually from second was where the front would dip down a little bit, change your gears. But shaving that little bit of aluminium off that back edge made a massive, it's made a massive difference. I, don't, I think standard, in a standard form you should always do it. Unfortunately everyone makes those gear levers so close to the engine casing and when you add those cases there you go other option but to to grind off a little just that little bit because if you don't grind it off every time you pull into traffic start stop oh yeah you just can't it won't go into neutral There's nothing more to, to be done to this bike. If anything, I hope from all the videos that I've made, you can learn from my mistakes. Yeah, another thing, I prefer the suspension being 100 kilos plus. I just like it, the bike riding really firm. The only reason I, I wasn't going to make this video, it's only that a few people just asked me, oh, what do you think of the hammerhead gear lever? It's the only one on the market with a plus 20 millimeter extension, and therefore I, I'm going to say it's a must have buy, but the trade off is you must shave the back edge off it. Now, if you want to be fancy, you can go ahead and paint the back edge black and then repaint the um, case covers and then it'll, it'll look perfect. Um, it's funny, every bike I see DRZ made, they all scratch to the shit house on the engine casings. So my advice, before you put the gear lever on, the new gear lever, shave it off, paint it and then put it on and you'll never have that scuffed look, beat up look. But I guess every DRZ or dirt bikes have that beat up, you know, beat up look. This is an exception of a bike. I just wanted a fancy looking DRZ. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up. There's a nice view of a Cobra, Shelby Cobra. I'll see you guys on the flip side.